there, sports fans. Welcome back to Gym Force Gymnastics in Tallahassee for another Gymnastics Basics. We're joined once again by the director of the National Gymnastics League. We got Sean Golden over here. How you doing? Sean, I see you have another apparatus for us. I do have another apparatus to show you some basics on. We did the parallel bars before. Now we're going to cover the pommel horse. Time for Sean to teach me the basics. First, we're going to start off with something called pendulum swings. And that's where you jump up to support, you straddle your legs, and you swing back and forth. Seems simple enough, just back and forth, but not a natural movement for me. It just feels so weird. You're doing almost as, almost as good as I did. That's <laughs> not a compliment. Let's kick the difficulty up a notch. When most people think of pommel horse, they think of all the circling elements, the break dancing moves, and you actually learn it here. You don't learn it on the pommel horse. So I'm just going to show you a couple of basic circles. Sean could complete a few circles on what's called a mushroom, just a pommel horse trainer. I didn't even get close. Nope. Oh, geez. Well, Sean, this is an absolute beast of an event. Even though you have all the traditional events in the National Gymnastics League, you have a different system for points. Can you explain that? Yes. What I tried to do was implement uh, an offensive-defensive component to our scoring system. So, for an example, um, if a guy falls, then it's called a point swap. That means that the opposing team gains a point. Mm -hmm. um, now, I mentioned sticking in one of our other segments, and that mean, and when someone sticks, that means they, they land and their feet don't move, mm -hmm. then that's called a point stealer. So that means that they steal X amount of tenths from the other team. Sounds like a good meet. That'll be January 12th at Florida State. For Sean Golden, I'm Dave Griffiths. And now you know the basics.